Set in apartheid-era South Africa, Morphe is the story of a young conscript who battles to survive military service while coming to terms with his sexual orientation. Originating as a best-selling novel, its recent jaw-dropping and beautifully portrayed film adaptation made international waves last year. Let's take a look. Wow, now the film's domestic theatrical release was limited due to the spread of the coronavirus, but that has not stopped the production team who are excited to share the special film with the local audiences. Now joining us via video call to share more is the book's author, Andre Carl van der Merwe, and the film's director, Oliver Hermanis. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Just seeing that little snippet is giving me all the feels, but maybe I'll start with you first, Andre. You know, when writing the book Morphe, why was it so important for you to get the story out there to everyone on the international stage, but also for the local audiences? Well, I think the, the, there was two, two folds. Um, the one was a, a cathartic experience for me. Because 20 years after I, I, I was in the army, I wrote Morphe, and for 20 years, me and my friends, we never discuss what we went through. It is the weirdest thing. So for cathartic reasons, and, and it really was very important for me to write it. And secondly, I think it was a part of our history, of this terrible history we had in this country. There were certain marginalized, smaller um, groups of people that was forgotten about in a way. And I think that, that the, the gay struggle that we had, particularly in the army with War 22 and so on, was something that I think needed to be recorded. Absolutely, that's beautiful Beautiful for you to share this story. But maybe for you, Oliver, when you were approached to direct this film, how did you know that you wanted to do it? What was your journey like through this? Uh, yeah, there was, there was a fair bit of a journey for me. I was having to debate uh, how that would be relevant to me personally. Um, of course, the sexuality of the character became something that I resonated with. But also, I think to just this bit of history that, as Andre says, we've not really spoken about for the last 25 years and there was a there was a time and a place for it which seemed to be pertinent and mm. be now and from the success of the film's international uh, reaction it seems that we made the right choice talking about that international uh, you know recognition Andre, when you saw that uh, it was getting all this views and just getting all this uh, you know uh, love how did it make you feel about your story being seen and heard worldwide well, it's, an, it's incredible. You know, it, it could have gone so wrong, mm. but it went so right. <laughs> you know, you, you write a book, and you, you are so personally invested in that book. But because it's part of my life, my first 19 years, I was even more invested. So, you know, when somebody else is going to tell you a story and you really have to hand it over and let it go, it's a, it's a hit and miss, but it really was a hit. <laughs> so yeah. it was amazing. I was, I was in Venice for the launch. It was the first time I saw the movie. And it, I was blown away. It was absolutely, uh, it was so emotional and so incredible. I can totally imagine, Oliver, for you being able to represent South Africa on such a global stage. What was it like for you uh, and to, to be a part of this film? Uh, making a film is always a privilege. Filmmaking is a very expensive endeavor. And so you always have, I've learned through my career to always be very careful about what I choose to make and, and the people that I work with. And for me, I'm just very proud. Both is a collective effort. There is an army of people of South African talent that made this film, including brilliant young actors and technicians and composers and writers. And it's a testament to our output as a creative industry from South Africa on the world stage. I hear that obviously lockdown has affected how people can see this film right now. But how has it affected your life, Andre? Well, um, <laughs> I've got a small clothing company now um, and we can't produce and we can't do any, any work. So, um, but I'm, I'm spending my time, I'm trying to work on an exhibition. Um, my training was actually in fine art, not writing. 
So I'm trying to do an exhibition. I want to do an installation of about a thousand portraits that I'm doing over this year. Oh man, bless thoughts and praise with you. But Oliver, what about you? How has lockdown affected your life? And then maybe how can the greater audience enjoy Morphe without going to the cinema at this time? Um, it has affected my greater life and the fact that I've been home for the longest period of time that I've ever been in 18 months. Uh, I was meant to be in America right now, but I'm happily at home. Um, so it has had an impact on the way the film industry is working. And people can check out Morphe. They can watch the film at our website, www.morphefilm.com. They can follow the prompts, read all the uh, T's and C's, and it is available for all South Africans right now. That's amazing. Well, guys, thank you so much for catching up with us during this time. We are all looking forward to watch the film and have a beautiful day further. Thank you very much. Thank you. Maybe now this is the perfect time to indulge in the emotional and visual masterpiece that is Morphe. And best of all, it is all proudly South African. Visit morphefilm.com forward slash stream to see the film right now. What are you waiting for?